this is one of the largest frames I've ever made right here I'm not using my stick as I should be alright so I've got some apples here from a local guy who's just moved in and nice and organic I'm going to make some wine from half and applesauce for the rest. So now the first thing I'm going to do is chop them up, clean off the leaves, put them in a pan and get them boiling. I'll get back to you. Thank you. Hi, I'm back. So now I've got a bunch of apples here that I've picked the stems and leaves off of and cleaned in this fashion. And next I'm going to bring them all over to my table and start cutting them up. Put them in a pot. I'm going to use a different pot, a bigger pot. And start cooking them down. That's step one. Be back with you. Alright, so now we've got our apples all nice and clean. We've got our stems and leaves all picked off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop them up, put them in this pan. Get them ready to cut them and boil them down. Just cut them down into small pieces. Any shape and size, it just doesn't even matter. I'm gonna throw them in there. I have a little water in there. To give it a good start. Put the seeds in there. No stems, no leaves. All the skin. We just want to get it. As much of that goodness in there. It's going to all cook down and get soft and gooey. These are some apples we got again from a local fellow who moved into town. More than they can use. Thank you. Blessings for all of that. It doesn't matter if it has blemishes as long as there's no insects or anything like that. Sometimes this is the best part, you know, getting all the good stuff in there, the vitamins, the minerals. We're going to cut about half of that bucket down. Way more than what we have here on the table. It's going to be several trips back and forth to the sink. And as you can see, small pieces, little bits. We're going to mostly fill this pot right up. Always be careful. I'm back. So now I've got most of them cut. And I've just put them down on the uh, stove on a high heat with just a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan. I'm going to get it up to a boil for just a minute or so and then I'm going to turn it down and let it simmer for 15 to 25 minutes something to that effect. There's nothing in there, just a little bit of water an apple. I'm about to add a little bit of cinnamon and possibly a dash of nutmeg just to give it a little apple pie flavor. It's going to be an apple pie wine. Hi. Alright, so it's been simmering for about 10 minutes. I just added a few dashes of nutmeg and uh, some cinnamon. You know, about maybe quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and probably half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I might 
No, it's good just the way it is. We're going to let it go. It's simmering again. I'm going to let that simmer another 10 minutes or so and get back to it. Okay, so I'm back. I've got my apples boiled down to a nice mash. I've got some lemon rind, which I added to three quarts of water and three quarts of sugar. And I'm about to chop up some raisins and add a couple of handfuls of raisin and get back to you in a few. The after that step will be to bring it down to 70 degrees in and around 70 degrees and uh, add our yeast. So I've cut up my raisins real good, mostly each and every one of them, just to get all the good juices out and into the process. I'm going to add them to my pot in a moment. Okay, so now I've got my raisins in the mash, and I've got my lemon, and I'm about to put it all into this sterilized bucket with uh, the lemon juice is later. I'm going to do the lemon juice and that'll be good to go. Okay so now I've got my bucket with my uh, mash or must, I don't know what the word is, mash, my apples, my spices, my uh, sugar and water and I filled it up to what feels comfortable for me with the rest of lukewarm water. It's about a 90 degrees right now and I'm going to let it get down to around 75, something like that, before I add my yeast. Hi, okay, well now I've transferred the process to my studio where I'm uh, currently stitching, uh, stapling a large piece of canvas to a large piece of frame. And I'm going to finish stapling the canvas to the frame, stretching it, while this guy continues to cool down. We want it to be about 70 right now. It's around 90. So by the time I'm done stretching this, this guy here should be ready to go. Patience is a virtue. Okay, so now I've got my yeast got my lemon juice and I've got my apple mash mixture it's around 80 degrees good enough I did not <coughs> did not staple my canvas but whatever right so now I'm gonna add lemon juice I let my yeast activate. I poured it in to the water, stir it around a bit, stir it around. We don't want it to cake on the bottom. I want to get it all out of there. Pour our yeast right in. There's a little bit on the bottom. be fine. We're going to stir that in. Everything will be just good. Mix it around. Put a lid on that. We're going to break the top at least once or twice a day for the next week. Stir it around so no unwanted bacteria fester in there. 